Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today, we're gonna to be testing out some of the new products I purchased during the Sephora savings event. So I did purchase way too much and my haul is already up. So if you haven't seen that already, I will leave that link down below. So I thought I would come back and we could try these on together. So some of these products I have already tried because I couldn't help myself and some of them I haven't tried and I actually managed to wait. So we're gonna do that together. I don't have anything new for foundation, concealer, brows, so I've already got those on. I did apply the Dior Star Filter, which I love, and then I had the House Labs Foundation and the Natasha Denona Concealer. That's it. I have a little bit of powder on my eyelids, but I don't have powder anywhere else because we do have the new Hourglass Powder to play with. So let's just get right into it. So like I said, we're picking up after foundation, concealer, and brows. So I think first we're gonna start with the new LYS No Limits bronzer stick in the shade Hope. So I picked this one up because they just released a shade extension. And until now I've had the shade Motivate, which is a beautiful shade, but it's a little bit warm and on my very fair skin, it was a little bit much. So I was really excited to see them come out with the shade Hope. See, this still seems a little bit warm to me, so I'm still being a bit cautious, but I still think that this is a really nice, really blendable bronzer stick, so I didn't mind picking up the new shade necessarily. So just blending this out. I do love how blendable this stick is. It's just so easy and foolproof, but this is still a very, very pigmented product. But I think you can see how easily that blended. And this is definitely a much better shade. I will show you in a moment um, a swatch comparison of Hope versus Motivate so we can see what the differences are. I feel like I might have gone in a little heavy on the cheeks, but that's okay. But I do think that added some really nice warmth and shape to my face. So let's take a quick look at a swatch comparison between the shade Hope and the shade Motivate, if you're a fair like me, just to get an idea of the difference. So the shades actually are very, very similar. Let me show you. So on the top we have Hope and then we have Motivate on the bottom. So they are both going to be great for fair skin but Hope does have a slight bit more of a cool undertone to it. Motivate is definitely warmer. So both shades are going to be great for fair skin, but I prefer Hope personally, just for that more cooler undertone. I find that Motivate can almost be just a little bit too orange. So from there, I also grabbed the House Labs Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer in the shade Light Level 1. So I am going to do that as well. So I'm just going to add this on top. I don't normally set my cream bronzers, but because I have both, I will. And I've been really, really liking this bronzer. I think it's really, really nice. I don't think it's magic compared to any of the other ones I have, but there's also no issues with it. It blends really well. It's really, really pretty. I like the shade quite a bit. So I've really been enjoying the bronzer as well. Again, I don't think it's anything spectacular, but I do think it's a really nice one. This is a side note, but I also went to Ulta the other day and picked up the NYX Buttermelt Bronzer. And I just have to tell you, this is amazing. This one smells so good. It reminds me of the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, but a bit more intense and with a slight bit more floral to it. But it is so good. I have the shade Buttercup and this is so nice, especially for fair skin. It's got more of that slightly rosy undertone. So it does look a little bit more like a true sun-kissed bronze. So this has been wonderful, but of course not part of my Sephora haul. So I think I'm gonna go into the powder before I go in to blush. And I did grab the new Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder. I have the shade Translucent. So in this powder, you do get the powder and you do get a puff. This does feel like a really nice puff for on the go, but I'm not gonna use that today just because I prefer my little triangular shaped puffs, personally. I have seen a few people say that the translucent light powder 
is actually a little bit lighter, so I'm a little bit sad that I didn't get that one. I just figured translucent would be the lightest one. So I'm just picking up a little bit on my puff and setting my under eyes and probably the center of my face. I will have to report back to you at the end of the month on this particular powder as to whether I think it's drying or anything like that. So just pressing that into the under eyes. I did set my the concealer on my eyelids with my Pat McGrath powder. I don't normally prep my eyelids with just concealer, but for some reason that's what I did today. It looks nice under the eyes and it looks okay right here, but there's a spot right here that I feel like might end up breaking up. I hope not. I hope I'm just kind of imagining that situation. I'm gonna try the other side with a brush so I can see the difference. I've also really, really been loving the Givenchy powder and that one is gonna be very, very hard to beat if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, you definitely get much better coverage with the puff but it's definitely nice and light with the brush, so I don't mind that. Both sides look nice, both get the intended effect, but this is one I'll definitely have to report back on because sometimes pressed powders, I find you need to have them on for a little bit, maybe an hour or two, for them to kind of settle into the rest of the makeup, and they end up looking absolutely fabulous. I mean, it's not really fair to any powder to be compared to the Givenchy powder because that one is absolutely top tier. Okay, so the jury's still out on this one. I'm not 100% sure how I feel. This is definitely one I'm gonna need to wear a little bit. I'll report back at the end of the month. I don't think it's gonna be a bad product, but it might not be a favorite. I've never seen Hourglass Miss when it comes to a complexion product, so I would be surprised if I don't like this, but hopefully I do. This was... 73 Canadian dollars obviously with the Sephora discount but 73 Canadian dollars so I'm really hoping I like this okay I did purchase two blushes I purchased the rare beauty powder blush in the shade cheer and I got the Dior rosy glow blush in rosewood I may have already posted a short applying this one so I'm not going to use this one today I think it's very pretty it's just that it really is a super glowy blush, so you have to love a lot of glow. I think if you are afraid of texture enhancing, then I would definitely pass on this. It's pretty, it's just that it's intensely glowy. And definitely if you wear this blush, skip the highlighter uh, because it's in here, but you do have to like a glow. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I really want to play with the Dior Rosy Glow Blush in Rosewood today. have worn this already. I wasn't able to wait. Um, I'm just grabbing a rougher 04 brush. This I love. This is definitely a more rosy tone, but I feel like you can see it's not as intense on the cheeks as it looks in the pan. Same can be said for that pink one that was absolutely viral, but I love the way it goes on the skin. It looks so beautiful and it is a powder blush, but I feel like the way it blends and sits on the cheeks and sort of just meshes with everything else, it almost looks more like a cream in the way that it kind of melts into the skin, if you know what I'm saying. I just think this is a stunning, stunning blush and I love it. And these Dior blushes are also incredibly long wearing, which is another thing I absolutely love. I might have gone a little bit too hard on the blush, but I'm not upset about it. I love this blush. I love this color. I'm so glad I picked this shade up. This is a product that was in and out of my cart so many times. This is also, in Canadian dollars, this is a $50 blush. So yeah, you have to really want it, especially if you're Canadian. You have to really want it. I really wanted this. Like I said, this was in and out of my cart so many times, but I'm glad it finally made the cut because it's beautiful. Let's move in to the eyeshadow. So I did finally splurge and pick up a YSL Couture Mini Clutch Quad, and I picked up the shade 100. So first of all, this packaging is so beautiful and luxurious. And then you open it up and you do get those two applicators on the bottom, but you just get this beautiful, kind of cool tone color story. Look how beautiful 
that is. It is the perfect mix of shades for every day if you want it to be. And I had originally wanted the more pinky one called Babylon Roses, but of course it was sold out by the time I got to it. And I placed my order at like 12, 15 a.m. So I was ready and it was still sold out. So I was just kind of baffled by that. So we are gonna just create a very, very simple look today. And it's, the, it's one I've done a couple of times, but I'm gonna start with this shade right here and this is gonna go all over the lid and be buffed into the crease and these are powders but they're like creamed powders they're so lovely to work with the mattes are really more like satins so there is a sheen to them but I don't feel like it's a texture enhancing sheen at all I think this is a formula that is Definitely a luxury formula, but I think this is one that would be good for mature lids, texture lids. I just think this is such a wonderful, wonderful product. So I've done this look a couple of times and I just blend that shade all over the lid, up into the crease, like I mentioned. Super, super simple, super quick, especially if it's for every day. I do often go into many different shadows just to see the different effects. But day to day, I do appreciate one to two shadow looks, and those are definitely very popular right now. Okay, so you could even leave it like that for a very simple one and done look. And I actually do end up using this weird little dual ended sponge tip applicator that really nobody uses anymore. I kind of want to buy some off Amazon that are actually full handled for this purpose, but these apply shimmers so well. And this is something I've known for a long time, I just don't really do it. These are perfect for applying shimmers with minimal, minimal fallout. So I'm just going into, of course, that shimmer on this little sponge tip, and I'm just applying that shimmer to the first, I would say, two quarters of the lid. And I hope you can see what I'm saying in that this really applies those shimmers without fallout and I don't have to use my fingers. So I'm definitely getting that more precise application, but with all the impact that I want out of that shimmer. I hope you can see that. It's just so, so pretty. This quad is stunning. So same thing on this side. Okay, and that's where I love to leave it, just with that one shade buffed all over the lid and in the crease, and then that shimmer on top, it just gives the lid such a beautiful wet effect. I'm just gonna go into that cream shade really, really quickly, and I like to put this one on that inner corner. This is definitely one of the fastest eyeshadow looks that I do, and I love that, because it's subtle, but it's pretty. I just love it. So that is the eye look. Again, very simple. I definitely could use that darker shade to do a wing or put some depth in the outer corner, but I don't really want to. I just want to keep it simple today. So I'm going to pop off camera, put on some mascara, and I will be right back to get into the lip products and share my final thoughts. Okay, so let's get into the lip products. So the first product is the Hourglass Shape and Sculpt Lip Liner in the shade 3 Tempt. So this is a pencil liner, so you can sharpen it. And it is just like a mid-tone rosy nude. So I have tried this already, and this is such a beautiful, creamy pencil, but it is so long wearing. This one got my attention because I swatched it in store, and when I got home, I still had the swatch on despite having washed my hands however many times. So this is a very long wearing pencil and also just incredibly creamy and comfortable to apply. Okay, so that is the lip liner. So it is on the slightly deeper side, but I'm gonna pair it with the Merit Matte Lipstick in the shade Classic. And this is such a beautiful classic pink. The name of the shade is perfect. Like I mentioned, this is such a beautiful classic baby pink, and I would also say that the 
matte formula is so comfortable. It feels creamy, but it is so, so comfortable. It doesn't feel like an overly drying matte, and it's not over enhancing any of my lip lines or anything like that. I did also pick up one of the Hourglass matte lipsticks during the sale in the shade Tulip, and this is a beautiful baby pink as well. But I actually tried this on yesterday, and it was so dry. My lips were in great shape for lipstick and it still brought out every single line. I feel like you can still see some of the lines but it's not quite as prominent as this made it. So I definitely prefer the Merit formula over the Hourglass but I've always been a fan of the Merit lipsticks. They're original line as well as their new matte line. Okay so let's talk about these products. So the bronzer stick. I already knew I loved this formula and I also now love that I have a shade that is a little bit better for me. As you saw in the swatches, it's not so much lighter than Motivate but it is a lot less warm. So if you found Motivate to be a little bit too warm, maybe a little too orange, Hope is a wonderful shade. The House Labs bronzer I really like. I think it's a great bronzer. It's blendable. It's light enough for my super fair skin so I appreciate that as well. I don't think it's anything so spectacular that it's better than all of my other bronzers but I do think it's a really really nice formula if you were debating on this one. I think it's beautiful, very blendable and I love the way it melts into the skin. The Hourglass powder I really don't actually love my makeup today, mostly just my skin. I don't love it at all and I'm attributing that to the Hourglass palette because for my base I use the Dior Star Filter, I use the House Labs foundation, I use the Natasha Denona concealer. Every time I use that combination of products I love my makeup. It always makes my base look so fabulous and today I kind of hate how my base is looking so this might not be a dry skin friendly product but I will of course update you at the end of the month maybe in an hour or two it's going to melt in and make everything look magic but for now I'm not loving it. When it comes to the blushes the Rare Beauty is really really beautiful but definitely a little bit too glowy for my taste. I think there will definitely be days where I'm excited for this blush and I think there's going to be days where it's just not for me. Right now I'm dealing with a lot of different breakouts and things like that so it's not for me right now. The Dior Rosy Glow Blush in Rosewood is going to end up being one of my favorite blushes of all time. I love this shade so much. Like I said I love the way it melts into the skin. It almost looks a little bit more like a cream blush than a powder blush with the way it melts in and sits on the skin. It's absolutely beautiful. The YSL Quad. I love this. So this is definitely a luxury quad. This is a very high price tag, but this is a luxury formula. These mattes definitely, they have more of a satin finish. There is a sheen to them, but they're almost like a cream to powder in the way they blend and apply to the lids. They're just so beautiful, so flattering and easy to work with. That shimmer looks absolutely stunning on top of any of the shades in this palette. I definitely could have gone into that deeper shade, but the look I created today is one I've done a few times now, and I just absolutely love how my makeup comes out when I do that. I just love it. I love the way the shimmer isn't chunky. It just gives such a wet, shimmery effect to the lids. It's beautiful, and I love that there is no fallout, especially when using that sponge tip applicator. That thing is good for something. And that's what it is. The Hourglass Lip Pencil, I love. This is, like I said, a wooden pencil. It is very, very creamy to apply, but at the same time, it is somehow incredibly long wearing. I don't think the camera caught it, but while I was applying it, I actually broke the pencil. Uh, like the tip broke off, so I had to sharpen it. And sharpening it was a little bit harder than I would have thought. For some reason, it just didn't seem to like my sharpener that works well with all of my other products so I'm hoping that was a one-off kind of deal but I really do love this hourglass formula. As for the lipsticks, the Merit, I absolutely love. I love this formula. This is probably one of the most comfortable matte formulas I've ever tried. The hourglass matte formula is very very dry and will definitely 
enhance the lines of your lips. So if you're somebody who really does have a lot of lines and you really don't want to enhance them, then I would definitely skip the Hourglass Matte Formula. It's just, it's far too dry. Again, it was enhancing lines even when my lips were in peak condition. So I would probably skip the Hourglass Matte Formula and go for the Merit. First of all, you'll save some money, but this formula is definitely superior. But that is it for my Sephora Savings Event Haul. I had a lot of fun trying these products. I will definitely continue to do so. I am very, very excited to keep trying them and finding out what I love. But that is it for me today. Let me know down below what you picked up during the Sephora Savings Event, if you shopped. Otherwise, did you pick up any of the same products that I did? Do you have any questions maybe I didn't quite answer? Let me know in the comments. I just love hearing from you guys so, so much. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload new videos every single week. Thank you again so very much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!